Before you actually publish this subject, you have some decisions to make about how your people are going to experience it. Let's take a look at those settings now. Inside this subject, I'm going to click the three dot menu at the top right, right here. And then click advanced settings. Now we can take a moment and look over the settings from before, including the title, the subject owner, and the description, and make sure those are accurate. Now we're going to take a look at the advanced settings. If required completion of subject is turned on, your people will need to mark their steps completed and they'll get reminders if they haven't completed their content. If it's turned off, that subject will be marked as a reference subject, which just simply means that anyone can access it at any time. If enable due date is turned on, you can specify a time frame in which they have to complete it from the day it's been assigned to them. If force order of topics and tests is turned on, your people will need to complete the subject in the original order. For example, my people will need to complete the shipping industry topic here before they can move on to the quiz. And they'll need to complete and pass the quiz before they can move on to the product and services topic. Just like that. Expiring completion will let you specify a certain amount of time to go by before the completion percentage goes back down to zero and your people need to complete it again. This is great for things like recertifications and content reviews. If lock subject is turned on, only an admin can unlock it for editing. And if display owner is turned on, everyone will be able to see who owns and is the main point of contact for this subject. When you're done, click save. Pro tip, it's a good idea to make these decisions before you actually publish the subject. However, you can edit them at any point in time in the future.